Maido. Hi there, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about dealing with pushback before it even comes up in your presentation. Present or Master Shimasho. This is the four year old presentations. Japan Series Podcast. We're beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato-ku in Tokyo. And I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Cunningham Train Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. Now, through this podcast, I want to help you to become a better speaker who is clear, confident, persuasive, and most importantly, highly influential with those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshia Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 211, 211. And we are talking about many people say and other strategies for dealing with pushback Donald Trump has made this technique of many people say famous for dealing with opposing views this is not an exercise for or against Trump rather it is just looking at different ways we can head off opposition to what we are saying we should have a point of view when we speak and therefore we should also be prepared for opposing points of view. Getting to the Q&A to deal with pushback is okay, but it is better to deal with it inside your presentation. Most of us are one-dimensional when we prepare our talks. We're thinking of ourselves and what we want or need to say. We don't give much thought to how others will receive it. In Japan, it is unusual for anyone to go after you when you are speaking. Good manners requires that everyone be stoic and put up with annoying counter-opinions. No one should lose face in a public arena. This is fine. But those who disagree may not bark, but they do bite. They'll do it afterwards rather than in public. They will criticize your failings to others. And you will go merrily on your way, never realizing that the audience thinks you're a total lightweight. Better to grasp the nettle in the moment and end it then and there. The key is to first design your talk in the first draft. I don't mean write the whole thing out word for word, but... To design the two endings for before and after the Q&A, to create the key points with evidence, and finally, design the blunderbuss opening to grab everyone's attention. Once you have this framework, start looking for your points of view interventions. There will be a few of these in the speech. These are the things you want us to believe or to do. Now, isolate these out and think about the opposite point of view. What would be the strongest argument against your point of view? If you say there aren't any, then a big reality check on your self-awareness sounds like it is in order. Take the lawyer's approach of preparing the brief for the other side in the argument. What would they say? How would they refute the points made? What counter-evidence would they proffer? 
You might not think the evidence is comprehensive, but that isn't the viewpoint of those holding those ideas. Also, consider what questions would they ask to find any holes in your proposition. In the talk, you can draw on the Trumpian technique of putting up a stalking horse argument and then disposing of it comprehensively. You might say, there is an alternative viewpoint that says X, Y, Z. Most experts, however, believe that ABC is more convincing and better supported by the evidence. You have said that not just you, but the experts are opposing this X, Y, Z viewpoint. And what is more, they have looked at all the evidence and concluded that what you are saying is more accurate. Third party interventions from experts makes it harder for people in the audience to disagree with you. Find out more when we come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online. We do them in Japanese and we do them in English. So today's show is sponsored by, on the 20th of November, in our professional leadership series, Dealing with Mistakes. Also on the 20th of November, we will be running negotiations. On the 27th of November, another one in our series on professional leadership will deal with vision, mission, and values. Check out our website for more detail on those programs at enjapan.dalecunny.com. Lots of value for there. Don't forget to email me at greg.story at dalecunny.com. If you like learning by watching videos, we've got over a thousand for you, Japan Dale Cunny TV on YouTube. We're releasing three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's a premiere. Business Show in Japan comes out every Monday. Fridays have Japan's Business Mastery Show. Saturdays we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday we release the Business Pro TV Show. Get my book, The Bible on Selling, Japan Sales Mastery, and also Japan Business Mastery, both are available on Amazon. Welcome back. Japan is different is an all-weather counter for just about everything that people base their views on. Japanese people disregard any surveys or research presented unless it includes Japan in the comparisons. It doesn't matter what it is. Unless there is a Japan component involved, they conclude it doesn't apply here because, well, Japan is different. We can say that normally we would expect EFG to apply, but because this is Japan, then we get UVW instead. This is hard to argue against because it is well accepted here that this logic makes sense. Of course, we have to have good evidence that this is how Japan does work in this case, and that usually isn't hard to muster. Another method is to mention that the evidence is not complete yet, but that the trends seem to be pointing to whatever it is you are recommending. This is allowing that later research may refute what you're saying, but as far as we know, up to this point, this looks to be true. Again, we make ourselves a small and elusive target for counterattack. Mentioning this is your experience allows others to have had a different experience, which is fair enough. You're not saying that you are the sole guru on this subject, but everything you've seen so far tells you this viewpoint seems to be the best case. You're open to others' experiences, and this comes across as a very even-handed and balanced approach. The key is in the planning, to know where the hot buttons will be pressed by people in the audience and to head them off at the pass. 
before they get going. Taking other opinions into account will make your talk seem more rounded and less dogmatic. You come across as knowledgeable on the subject and an expert who should be listened to. It is hard to argue against, and your talk will go very smoothly when you get to the Q&A. The Q&A is the graveyard of many a good talk, by the way, because the speaker didn't plan ahead for pushback. We won't be in that category anymore going forward. Did you get value from today's show? If you did, then share the love around with your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast on iTunes. Until the next episode, go out there and apply the learnings from today and become a presentations legend amongst your circle. Thank you for listening. And please tune in next week. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.